Hi everyone from Lanchester Finds. This is a year in review video. I'm pulling my top 23 finds of 2023 and showing you what I bought and sold. And these are just the top 23 items that sold for the most on my eBay store, Lanchester Finds. I think it's great to look back and reflect on how your year went. The first item, or the 23rd item actually, is a Lego Monarch set. I bought a bunch of Legos for $30 and sold this one set for $127.50, even though it was incomplete. I did print out the parts list, which you see on the right there, and it described exactly what was going on with this set, and that sold fairly quickly. I also sold a couple other items in that lot, so it was a great profit. So this next item is actually two items. I bought both of these Madonna and Child porcelain wall plaques for $4.52. I took a best offer on the first one of $130. It was absolutely stunning. And the second one sold for $145. I was really worried about shipping these out, but they both made it safely and they're just the most precious things. And what a great profit. Also on all of these items in this list, the buyer does pay for shipping. This next item was in a drawer of old cameras that I had in my house. This is a great way to start an eBay business is selling things that you have laying around. So it cost me nothing and it sold for $130.32. Number 19 on our list is a item that was at the bottom of the box. There was just a little plastic disc that said Barbie on it and a wire. And I figured out it was a 1960s Barbie stand, pretty rare, and it sold for $140.60. This tray lot of Nightmare Before Christmas items are highly sought after, and I was very happy to find them. I paid $158.20. I sold a few items on that tray for over $70, and this jewelry box was the prized possession on the tray. It was the rarest piece and went for $150. A few items on my top 23 are actually from this Santa collection that I purchased for $165 from an estate sale. This was a lot of work. I actually did a YouTube video on this Santa collection, so you can check that out. But our number 17 item was this tin Lindstrom 1930s Santa Claus toy, and that sold for $150. This next lot I bought for $50. It was a Johnny Claypool folk art jug. Folk art had sold very well for me. I actually donated the kitten sculpture to Goodwill and sold the jug for $152.50. My 15th item was on this tray lot of Halloween items. There was a large collection of Halloween that was auctioned off at a local online auction. And I bought quite a few tray lots from this auction and you will see several items in my top 23. Those two jack-o'-lantern figures in the back sold for 90 and the crepe witch sold for $152.50. And the whole entire lot only cost me $44.80. Here is another tray lot, and this happens to be a great lot of vintage style Santas. I bought this tray for $36.16 and sold this KD Vintage Santa for $158.50. This tray lot of Halloween items cost $106.20. This was from that same large Halloween collection auction. And that Ruckus Studios raccoon on the jack-o'-lantern sold for $170. This was from a fabulous collection of vintage Christmas and vintage doll from New Jersey. And I bought this for $90 and I sold quite a few of the items that were on top of it first and then sold this for $175. This was another fantastic collection of old German candy containers. These featured birds and most of these sold from $50 to $62. Actually one sold for $75. But the prize possession was actually the plainest one, but it was covered with loofah, which is pretty rare. And that went for $177.50. This very large hand-painted Santa bulb actually worked and it sat on a display piece. I bought it for 90 and I sold it for 180. I bought this Burcraft lamp for $20 at a barn sale. 
and sold it pretty quickly. And there was a lot of people interested. There's a lot of Birdcraft collectors out there. I did a Bolo Be On The Lookout video on my YouTube account for these Birdcraft lamps. So check that out if you are interested. You should definitely be on the lookout for these. This antique crepe paper mache egg sold for $185. It was on a tray lot for, that I bought for $54. And I did a video also on YouTube about this lot because there were some really cool finds and that was a very successful purchase. This was a great item from an online estate auction. I bought basically all of the Christmas decorations from this house for $24. And this caroling bells, I set it up, it worked perfectly. It was basically brand new in box. I sold it for $189. So whenever I get a chance to buy an entire house's Christmas decorations, I jump on it. This beautiful lot of art glass intrigued me. I thought that globe vase was stunning. The two taller vases in the back ended up being made by Florist Maiden. They are still up for sale on my eBay store. That globe art glass was signed Bendita Glass, uh, Michael Harris, and that was made in Malta in the 1960s. I wanted to keep this for myself. I had it priced pretty high. I eventually took an offer of $195 from a buyer in Malta who wanted it relocated. And because the shipping was gonna be so high for them, they wanted a lower price. So I was willing to do that because it got relocated back to its home. My eagle eyes paid off on this tray that I bought for $7.91. I could see that that tree in the back was a candy container, probably from Germany. And I also knew that there were other lots in this sale that were also German candy containers. So I took a chance for $7. It really wasn't that big of a chance. And I sold that for $232.49. Another tray of items, $27.12. And I sold that wonderful wood Pinocchio for $288. I believe that also went to Italy. This next lot was from that same Halloween collection auction and I noticed that that cast iron metal devil looked older than the other modern items in this lot. I paid $141.60 and it sold for $400. This was another lot from that same Halloween collection. I paid $47.20 for these four items. And I sold that Ruckus Studio Owl for $449. And last but not least, our number one item was from that same Santa collection. It was a whimsical Whittler signed Vaughn and Stephanie Rawson hand carved wood Christmas Santa. And it sold for $450. That is the end of our top 23 finds for 2023. You can see that I sold a lot of really great Halloween items, some Christmas items, and some really unique items, art glass and some porcelain. So a wide variety of items that sold on my Lanchester Fine store this year. You can follow me on Facebook and also on Instagram. And as always, you can shop my eBay store. I will show the link in the description below. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.